have always had a problem of wanting to fit in. I was trying to skip school a lot. There were people that were bullying me. So what they would do is like take my bag and, and throw it off. So all my things are like downstairs and I have to run down and take. If not, they will take my things and throw in the toilet. I wouldn't say that I blame them because maybe they themselves were going through certain things. Now that I'm older, I can rationalise that. But back then, I definitely hated going to school a lot. It made me feel like I was very alone. You know, I'm having tuition almost every day and my grades is still like barely there. Could it be that maybe I'm like stupid? My family is not exactly like well to do. My parents work very hard and then my dad does have health issues as well. But yet on the other hand, I was like bleeding money for them through all these like failures in school. And I think they still told me that, you know, regardless of how it is, we still accept you for who you are. And it was really hard because like, you know, I try very hard, but I don't know how to explain to them like back then. And I think that was always something that bugged me a lot over the years. When I finally found out that oh, I have ADHD, that it made a lot of sense. There was like a lot of grief, I would say, at the start. I cried for a few weeks because I felt that I passed it to my son. Well, I think that was like, the worst part. Even though I know that now there are strengths involved, you know, not always bad. But I knew that he will go through the same self-esteem issues as me, you know. People thinking that you're lazy, not putting in effort. I didn't want him to think that he's not enough. To feel that you're spending your whole teenage to adult life searching for like, who you are, searching for somewhere to belong. The things that I go through, I think it's not as bad. I, I still can suck that up. But whenever I think of my son, I think that's the part that affects me the most. It will always be an ongoing battle where as parents we have to keep advocating for them and explaining to adults. Somehow there will always be some people that feel that you're giving an excuse. You no, know, that is your parenting issues. I always hope that he'll find like a friend that can understand him for who he is. How are you feeling for the Facebook Live later? <laughs> Very nervous. It's okay, you're not the only one. I think we all are. But ultimately, I think it's always to remember that no, definitely, I don't think it would be as perfect as you want to be, but good enough. As long as it comes from the heart, right? And people know they're being authentic, then I think they can connect. Now that I have to come out to the front and say like, hey, I have this and I'm trying to do this, I have to keep myself on track more. I thought, okay, la, I will do it, you know, part of personal growth. Unlocking at is a place that probably I get to apply all my skills. I think it makes me feel more useful and at the same time because I know that I'm doing something for others just like me, I'm uh, even more driven to make it work and then I can get to create change. It also helped me to heal faster because when I look at everyone else and I realise that you know, I'm not the only one in it and seeing that even though they are, take turns to be down but they are still actively going and then we keep encouraging each other, really a very important and precious driving force for all of us. And then I think that has also made me feel a bit more confident as a person. It's a good thing to always improve myself and I just need to work on my own personal best, not keep looking at others around me and trying to compare myself and be like them. I hope for a world where my son can be accepted for his differences. Actually everyone accepted for their differences. Knowing that if you are different, it doesn't mean that you are bad. You still have a lot of different strengths and good ideas that you can bring to the table like to help others create great things. <laughs>